We're now going to be talking about the carburettor and a few simple checks and tips that will let, that will make life a lot easier for you. Okay, so the first thing that I want to point out is the switch here. Anytime this switch is in the vertical position, as you can see below, this means that fuel is getting into the carburetor. If the switch is in the horizontal position, as you can see now, this means the switch is closed and no fuel is getting in to the carburetor, the bowl of the carburetor. So always make sure you have this switch here in the vertical position. Now, I'd just like to point out that it could also be in this position here and that would also be open. Okay, this position here, horizontal is closed, this again is open. Right? So, just to, um, for demonstration purposes, we'll leave it in this position, which means it's open and fuel is getting into the fuel bowl inside the carburetor. Now, if you turn the carburetor around on the other side, you can see here there is an idle adjustment screw. What this screw does is adjusts the idling speed of your engine. Okay. Now, the manufacturers state that this screw here should be four, three and a half turns to four and a half turns from the completely closed position counterclockwise. So if you can imagine us screwing this in as far as it will go, okay, and we're screwing it in in the clockwise direction, and then when it stops going in as far as it will go, what we do is we take the screwdriver, screwdriver, and we start screwing it in the counterclockwise direction, and you have to unscrew it counterclockwise three and a half to four and a half turns. Again, this is the manufacturer's recommendations. But what I've found is that when you start your engine, you'll have to adjust this slightly anyway. So the first time you start your engine, lock your clutch lever in, or pull your lever, clutch lever in and lock it, and your engine will be idling. Okay. Then what you need to do is, if you think it's idling too high, you need to turn it counterclockwise a little by a little until you, you reach a sweet spot. And you'll know, you'll just know, it just sounds just right. Um, if it's too low, then what will happen is, as soon as you put your clutch in, or pull your clutch lever in, the engine will cut out. That means you need to set the idling speed higher. Okay? So what you do then is you can turn it in quarter turns or half turns until your engine will stay started when you pull the clutch lever in. Okay? So that's uh, pretty much that basically. Um, yeah, so those are the two main points, uh, the, t the two main parts which need adjusting on the carburetor. Um, one is the, uh, the idle adjustment screw and the other one is um, the uh, the fuel switch here. Uh, I want to talk about something else as well. Um, when you're starting, starting the engine, a lot of people find it difficult to start the first time. And it can seem a bit tricky, but it's really easy actually. And, and you'll see as I'm gonna, going to explain this to you now. When you're starting the engine for the first time, there's a lever here. Now this lever is the choke lever and this lever needs to be in the completely upward position or facing the sky if you like as soon as you start your engine as soon as it starts kicking over at the, the same time that you're giving some gas you need to start moving this down with your finger to the completely downward position okay so you have the choke lever all the way up you start the engine and then what you do is you start moving this down to the completely downward position. Okay, you need to do this almost instantly, and uh, that means now the choke is sorted, 
and uh, the engine should start up as normal. Okay. If you don't do this, if you try to start the engine, having this lever all the way down here, it won't start. If you have it all the way up, it will start, but if you don't move it down immediately, as soon as the engine started, it won't stay started and it will cut out. Okay. So, as I say, these are just a few things that I, sh I believe will, uh, will help you um, if you can get them adjusted right first time. This is transformercycles.com signing out.